AM and PM system as 12 hour time convention which is used worldwide. Time or Vela in Thai as 24 hour system and formally it is called Nalika for each hour, especially in any official events or documents. But in reality, local Thai people prefer to use Tum Mong Ti to tell time. Why? We will tell you. Welcome to Urban Thai. I'm Kru Zhang and this is Kru Sarika. Wela and Nalika is from Pali and Sanskrit and Thai people used to tell time. For example, Kanatni Wela Pat Nalika. Yes. Thai people would use Nalika for the official events or documents. Hmm. Then where Tum Mong Ti come from? Actually, there are interesting facts about the history of the time telling. In the past, the mechanic clock was rarely used as it was an expensive good. Local time couldn't afford, so that would be clocked only in some places like the city hall or temples. And only monks used some instruments to tell timing to those who live far away. Do Thai people start the day at 1 a.m. like the rest of the world? No, actually, Thai time started at 6 o'clock in the morning by the monk hitting the gongs many times. Ah, the sound of the gong will be mong mong. Yes, which later becomes mong chao. Oh, like hok mong chao, jet mong chao. 8 mong chao, 9 mong chao, 10 mong chao, 11 mong chao, right? Yes, huh? people now call that way based on Western AM systems, which starts from 6 to 11 AM. But in the past, the monk wouldn't be the gong 6 to 11 times, as it would be too noisy. The monk would only hit the drum many times at 6 a.m. So it is called Yam Rung or Hok Mong Chao. Yam Rung is from Yam Glong, which means hitting the drum repeatedly to wake people up and start the day. Rung is morning, so that's why Yam Rung means morning has now started. Then hit one time at 7 a.m. So it is called Ning Mong Chao or Mong Chao, two to five times respectively from 8 to 11 a.m. So 8 a.m. is Song Mong Chao, 9 a.m. is Sam Mong Chao, 10 a.m. is Si Mong Chao, 11 a.m. is Ha Mong Chao or We La Pen. It is time for monks to have lunch. Ah, oh, that's why my grandparents still call 1 mong chao, 2 mong chao, while the urban Thai call 7 mong chao, 8 mong chao. When it's midday, people call Tiang Wan or noon because the position of the sun will be on top of our head. Tiang means midday, but can also mean honest, very, or certainty, for example. เขาพักทานอาหารกลางวันตอนเที่ยงเขาเป็นคนเที่ยงตรงความไม่แน่นอนคือความเที่ยงแท้ผู้พิพากษาตัดสินได้อย่างเที่ยงธรรมเขาเ
that shooting signal is called Pun Tian. Those who are not living in the capital and couldn't hear the sounds of firings is called Gai Pun Tian. That's where the idioms Gai Pun Tian comes from. It sarcastically means the people who live in the remote or rural areas are not modern and civilized. Ah, we still use the gong for the whole day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So let me guess. The monks hit the same gong for one to six times in the afternoon, which the afternoon is called Bai. So one time at 1 p.m. it is called Bai Nung Mo or Bai Mo and 2 to 5 times respectively from 2 to 5 p.m. So 2 p.m. is Bai Song Mo, 3 p.m. is Bai Sam Mo, 4 p.m. is Bai Si Mo and 5 p.m. is Bai Ha Mo. Hey, why didn't they call 6 p.m. by Ho Mo? Actually, we will still call Mo and evening or Mo Yen during 4 to 6 p.m. 4 p.m. is by Si Mo. Or you can call Si Mo Yen. Ha Mo Yen is by Ha Mo or Ha Mo Yen. 6 p.m. We did not call by Hok Moon because the sun will soon set and the sky will slowly get dark. So we call Hok Moon Yen or Yam Kam. The monk will change the instrument from gong to drum and repeatedly beat the drum at 6 p.m. Yam is from Yam Glong, means hitting the drums repeatedly to remind that the day had aimed. So people could finish the work and go home. Come is night, so that's why it is yam come means the night had now started. Ah, that's called yam come, similar to yam rung. Yes. As I said, the monk will change to the drum. How does the drum sound like? Mm, tum, tum. Tum. It has become tum. So hitting a drum one time, it's nung tum or 7 p.m. Two times song tum, 8 p.m. Three times sam tum, 9 p.m. Four times si tum, 10 p.m. And five times ha tum, 11 p.m. Midnight is Tian Kun. The monks also sleep by now. And after Tian Kun, why did they call Ti? Is it the sound of any instruments? No. In the night, the villagers would take care of their families, farms, or villages from robbery or wise animals. So, there would be a night chief security who hit a metal plate because it had a softer sound so it wouldn't disturb people while sleeping and still tell the time for other workers or villagers who had not slept why don't we use the sound like krang ting like nung krang song krang <laughs> Metal plate sounds differently, like you said. That's why people use the action of hitting or T to tell the time instead, so all people will understand. Ah, hitting one time, it's called T nung, or 1 a.m. Two times T song, 2 a.m. Three times T sam, 3 a.m. Four times T C. 4 a.m. 5 times Tiha 5 a.m. And 6 a.m. is already morning. 
and Monk will hit the drum repeatedly again. I hope it helps you to memorize how to call time in Thai. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I heard an idiom which is Glai Pun Tiang. For one to six times in the afternoon. Uh, <laughs> the afternoon. Time <laughs> or Vela Pay. Vela Pay. Vela Pay.